Obviously it comes from a case-to-case -case basis for how we rework things. You go through and there's a lot of research. Everyone on the team are our players and we play the game an awful lot. So you go through and you kind of know what the issues are. When I talk about research, generally when I'm at my desk, YouTube sitting in the corner and is a Rainbow Six video. Um, either one of the ESL events, you know, Raleigh, I rewatch all the matches because I can't see it when I'm actually at the event. Uh, any of the land dream hack, I watch, I, we watch all of it and watch how people are playing the maps as they come out. So it, it's, you spend a lot of time watching and thinking and trying. There's different levels of reworks. Like Cafe was quite fast because there wasn't, you know, redo the destruction, redo the shell, get everything back to metric. Theme Park is a little bit more extensive, but nowhere near, say, Canal. Um, Canal was like full thematics, full map, and you know, Hereford was a brand new map completely. There was a bunch of different problems with Theme Park. Um, navigation was always in a bit like, you felt like you were running around a, a rabbit warren a little bit. It was very easy to get lost. It was quite dark. With a recruit, you could go hide in some of the corners and not be seen, so the lighting obviously need to get addressed. Going through and making sure the bomb site's more viable, so they've been reworked quite drastically. Going through, making sure you have enough reinforcements, enough hatches, enough ways to rotate in and out of the site, and especially between the two bombs is quite important. Old Throne Room was super fun. It was hard to attack, quite easy to defend, but if you've got it right, you can get in and like have a whole bunch of fun, depending on the angles. But new Throne Room in, um, in Theme Park is an awful lot of fun. Drugs was always one of the most picked bomb sites because it's the one you could actually defend the easiest. Even though it was a very viable bomb site, we've looked at that site and we have changed it around a little bit. Just you want it to be balanced, and that's where the iteration and the playtesting actually comes into full effect. Even minor changes, you know, that are upstairs off of the top of the stairs, there's that really long corridor that was a massive line of sight, you know. Chopping things like that down is always preferable, but you've always got to be a little bit careful because then you're starting to make the navigation trickier and you don't want, you know, false calls or blind sights or, you know, too many pixel shots. So you have to go through and balance it. I never really had too much of a problem as a player with Theme Park. I enjoyed it, but now the new Theme Park, yeah, it plays so much better than the old one. I think the community is going to really enjoy it. Would we ever rework a rework? Because gameplay's evolved and the player and the fan base has evolved. So obviously we're reworking original maps to make them work better and play better. I guess in the future, as the player base gets bigger and there's new operators and the meta changes, I guess there's always a possibility of some maps will fall out of favour and will need to get looked at again. It's always a possibility. I guess come back to me in year eight and we'll, we'll see.